We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to visit several restaurants in the Tulsa area and show you how they use fresh herbs in their food preparations, herbs that you can grow right here in Tulsa. And we're with Ruth Young here at Queenie's Plus Cafe here in Utica Square. And Ruth, what are you making? I'm making Mediterranean chicken salad. Oh, well, now what are we going to put in this? My favorite herb, oregano. That this looks like a good example. Fresh picked yeah. out of the garden. Yeah. And, uh, uh, chicken breast meat. Okay, so it's and got Bigsby green beans. Bigsby green beans and fresh and, uh, chicken. Possibly big, Bigsby tomatoes. Okay. Uh, capers, a Mediterranean okay. ingredient. Uh, okay. Olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. This is uh, olive oil and lemon juice and herbs, the oregano that I blended in the food processor. Okay, so you blended okay. the oregano first uh -huh. in the processor and mixed it in with the dressing. Mm -hmm. And then you pour that on. And, that and uh, it is. And then, oh, we have uh, some imported olives. And they'll go into the, olives. They'll go into it. Into the dressing. There, okay. it's still in the refrigerator. Okay. So yeah, great. you can stir that a second. Then when you're processing the oregano, do you have to chop it up first? How do you do uh, that? I pick the, pick the leaves off the stems. Okay, so you have to like strip the stems. Yeah, you don't want the stem in there. And then, do you have to put any water in with it? No. I blended the oregano, then added the lemon juice and the oil. Oh, okay. Processed it so for a long liquid. time, and then yeah. it gets these these good, excuse me, oh, these good, good. Niçoise olives, which are hard to pick, but they're certainly worth it. They have a much stronger taste. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite chicken salad that we make here, and it's a good one for people that don't care for mayonnaise or you sure, know, it's trying a little to bit watch lighter. it. It is yeah, a lot lighter, and it's awfully pretty. You can see oh, it yes, there. That's nice. So this is something that gardeners could make at home? Oh yeah, you could use up a handful beans. of fresh green beans and some leftover chicken. And, that looks and, uh, just great. Now, what are you going to serve that with? Uh, maybe a big piece of French bread. Maybe a glass of yeah. iced tea. And it's everything all in all in one bowl. You have your vegetable and your... Meal in one for summertime. Yeah. It sounds good. Well thanks Ruth. You're looks welcome. like a good use My for fresh oregano. And um, what's good olive it? oil, capers. Yeah. All those good things. Good olives. Great. Well, let's go see what the next restaurant has for fresh herbs here in Tulsa. We're here with Philippe Garmy of Back Bay Gourmet. And Philippe, what are you going to make for us? Well, today we're going to uh, explore the possibilities of using herbs with uh, virgin olive oil, which we use in this restaurant for uh, seasoning pizzas. And uh, the different herbs that we have here, which we grow locally, uh, are basil, fresh basil, fresh rosemary, as you can see, and thyme. These are the principal herbs that we're going to use in building this delicious uh, pizza oil, as we call okay. it. And this will flavor the pizza? And this will flavor the pizza. We use it in flavoring our pizza. It's one of our uh, uh, special items that we offer here. Okay, great. Okay. Well, how do we start? Well, first of all, there's no sense of uh, starting without mentioning that we have to use garlic. Garlic is a... And it must be fresh. And it must be fresh, exactly. We're going to take some garlic uh -huh. and drop it right into an empty uh, wine bottle. Right. Okay. Just cut and it you open. You just quarter it. You don't smash it or anything or it's bruise it. Don't really have to. It's just okay. something that we take the whole... The, the clove and we just slice it open All right. like so and never, never be shy with garlic don't be afraid of it don't be afraid you can't of it. overdo it's not you're not going to overdo anything okay okay and we're also going to use some fresh uh, dried chili peppers okay we want to get a little spice in there also well, those are things we can easily grow here for that's, sure that's right these are all. These were also grown here in Tulsa. And you just plop them in there. Just pop dry. them into the bottom. You don't have to cut them open or anything. No, you don't have to do any of that. Okay. And then I like to throw in a little uh, bay leaf. Okay. That's there. something they'd have to buy. That's something that we can. Uh, we have to buy dry. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. And I always put one or two uh, peppercorns. Whole peppercorns. Whole peppercorns. Okay. That's right. So into the bottle. Then what we're going to start doing here is start dropping 
sprigs of rosemary right down the neck of the bottle. Okay. So don't throw away your wine bottles. There's always a good Save use them. for them. Save sure. them. Sure. Okay. Like so. We've got about four of those in there. That's exactly. Okay. This would make a great gift for someone too if you want to make That's up a, right. an herb vinegar. Great Christmas right. gifts. And I'm getting some fresh thyme here. Okay. And you have to you play really with have it to sometime. stuff it in there, don't you? That's right. Yeah. It's really very easy to do. Oh, I can see the, that. Uh, the different herbs provide a special uh, aroma to the oil. Huh? And what you do with the bottle is you let it sit in a cool, dry, dark place for a couple of weeks to allow the, uh, the flavor of the herb to uh, mix with the oil. Okay, so the... the the flavors in herbs are oil in themselves, right. so I guess they have to they, disseminate into the vinegar exactly. and flavor it. And what that does, it makes it almost a perfume, like because of a perfume-like quality to the oil. Well, how long can can you store an oil like this? Well, safely, with if you don't use it all right away. Well, when it comes to olive oil, olive oil will go rancid if you let it sit uh, too long. Okay. So. I strongly advise that we uh, refrigerate it if you're going to have it sitting out for long periods of time. Okay. Otherwise, if you're going to plan on using it every day, and you can use this oil for virtually everything from uh, making salad dressings mm -hmm. to uh, coating uh, fish before you grill it on the barbecue or pork chops oh, that'd be or good. anything or steaks. It's great. It's great stuff. So I'm going to pop open a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. And the extra virgin olive oil, all it, all that means is that it's the first pressing of the olive. Oh, okay. So it gives you a, a much fruitier uh, it quality. Fruit? It's not stronger. It's generally a lot less, um, a lot less uh, uh, stringent in, in mm -hmm. terms of taste. It's the highest quality. It's the highest quality that, that uh, money can buy. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We're going to drop it very carefully. Pour it very carefully into the bottle, like so. Looks great. So, and then we're gonna put a little, uh, what they they call a pour spout they use in bars. Uh huh. We're gonna put that right on top of the bottle, like I guess so. That's something I could get at a restaurant supply place. That's right. And there's a great one, right off of Sheridan, called Curtis Restaurant Supply. And they have these by the okay. quarry. All right. So you look like a real pro in your own home. <laughs> that's right. And here we go. This is the, the final product. As you can see, it's, it's, it's an attractive looking oh, bottle. Yes. It's uh, really, a, it's, it's a wonderful centerpiece. It'd make a great gift for, for Christmas or for uh, a special gift for friends or relatives, what have you. Oh, that's yeah. a great way to use them just directly from the garden because you end up with so many herbs mm -hmm. and you wonder, what am I going to do with all of these? That's so right. You can only dry so many. That's great. Well, thanks for showing that to us, Philippe. Now, how are we going to use this? Well, we got a pizza in the oven. Let's go check on that. Okay, sounds good. Great. Philippe, that pizza looks great. What's in it? Well, this is our uh, goat cheese pizza with sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And again, here we are using the, uh, the herbs again, the fresh herbs of rosemary. We have some fresh basil here also. And we have sun-dried tomatoes, some green chili, some uh, roasted red peppers. Uh, some onion and, and the goat cheese laid there. That gives it an unusual flavor then. Yes, it does. Oh, it looks great. So we just put the oil on that? We put the oil right on top, okay? Now this just, is a bottle that you've been having is, sit for a couple weeks, right? This is actually a three-month-old bottle. Oh. And it's just real ripe, full of flavor, lots of impact. Well, Philippe, thank you for showing this to you, and I'm ready to make some herbal oil. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.